so excited because I'm finally doing what the ass has been telling me to do, and I didn't realize I was doing it until I started doing it. The ass has told me to do this a long time ago. And it's because of the love that we have for our people, and then we also know they've been discouraged to want to read and stuff like that. So, audio, you know, it's good. And then also to my grandmother, she's um, blind, 95 years old. So, this is also a good gift for her, too. I can't wait for her, you know, to engage in this book along with us. Okay, so right now we're on chapter six. That's on page 89. And it's helping yourself with astral power. Can make you a leader dominating your business and social world. Also, too, I want to do a commercial for Washita Water. I am so excited. The Mountain Valley Spring Water. Washita Water. And this stuff is so delicious. It's so nutritious. And it's so from your ancestors. So you know it has sincerity and love. And it's delicious. Okay. As a college teacher, I was often called upon to give talks before service and other community groups until I knew better. I followed the usual pattern of preparing my talk and reading it word for word, or preparing copious notes that I referred to constantly. I got away with this method for some time, just as the great majority of the speakers do. However, one evening, my speech fell flat and I was just very embarrassed. Did you ever see any they turn the air on now we got to roll the windows up so we got to have the air on even though we prefer the window down um did you ever see any really good speaker use notes to read his speech no of course not shoot i used to always use my speech okay i have given hundreds of talks since but i have never fully prepared the talks before going before the group now I get up and make a free preliminary remarks while my mind becomes tuned to the needs and wishes of the group. You'll be surprised to really be able to tell what your audience is thinking. You can actually point out any person who is thinking funny things about you. I often stop my speech and point them out. Making a joke out of the occasion rather than making anyone angry. You can pull surprises on your audience just as I do many, many times. Astral Power and my Astral Helpers make all of this possible. I can now give the type of speech my audience wants to hear. If I have their undivided attention, the words flow out without effort and I have no fear. I'm not it's nervous. It's true, baby. Yeah, it's true. Because that's how I did. Remember, we just got here. We, uh, we went to uh, Sasha Long. Um, yeah. Um, we're talking on the list. And our lecture, we just got here. We got here. Like an hour late because we tried to like crazy or something. Like, and then when we got there, you know, um, I didn't have time to um, do anything with the, um, with the speech. So I just got up there and just went on for the, um, three hours straight, you know, on the top of my dome, man. They loved it. You know? They really did. And then also, too, you've done that many, many times. You know? um, it's deep because. In this book, you'll see that some of the things you already may be doing too. You know, so it just really is something to help strengthen our movement, strengthen our physical walk. Um, let me see. If I have their undivided attention, the words flow out without effort, and I have no fear. I'm not nervous, and no one in my audience keeps looking at his or her watch and is glad when I quit talking. I generally feel the need to talk longer than play. No one gets up and walks out. I literally have to walk out on my audience or the questions keep coming for a long time. Wow. Experts use of my magic formula will not only make it possible for you to pick up the thoughts of your astral right, brain. Explain stuff so detailed. That's what I was thinking. He yeah. must not be explaining it. Right. <laughs> I explain stuff so detailed that I have to ask them are there any questions after I finish. <laughs> so I think that's part of the best way that needs to be. That way you can leave. Uh, or either they just end up, you know, coming up and, you know, talking to you, you know, telling telling them, you know, telling you about their own experiences and whatever the case is. That's normally what ends up happening. 
Okay, okay, perspective from a um, metaphysical uh, brother, metaphysical melanated brother, which would definitely be different, you know? Um, it would be definitely holistic, you know? Um, expert use of my magic formula will not only make it possible for you to pick up the thoughts of your astral friends, but of anyone on the physical plane. ESP is easy as one, two, three. As I later listened to a tape recording of what I said, I'm amazed. I always ask myself, did that come out of me? Did you do that? Good leaders are in tune with their community. The residents of Elliot's community regarded him as very fortunate. He did not have to work because he had a large income made possibly by reading a book on how to get rich. He was often called upon to speak or be a chairman of community. He always accepted reluctantly and seldom did a good job. Elliot's life was truly impoverished. He was bored. He could not leave. The community knew all of this, but did not know why. I got him on the right track. What a chance has come over. What a change has come over Elliot. Ooh, Elliot Clark? People would say, we really enjoyed his last talk. Others would say, Elliot seems so happy and content with his life now. Still, others would remark. The world is now ready for the full release of astral power. Word. While we respect and appreciate all forms on the tree of life, we know that humans have the most unique possibility. We no longer need to work long hours to keep the elements of nature from destroying us. We have finally harnessed many of these elements for constructive use, directing their power for our good. Man has had the possibility of being freer than he was, yet millions are still not free. Not liberated. Over the past 10,000 years, there have been many wars and social revolutions. They are still going on today. However, the greatest revolution of all is about to take place. You can become a charter member of this revolution. The readers of my book have discovered that only through removing the sheep and freeing your inner God and God self within can we have instant wealth, instant health, and those qualities that make us leaders in our business and social world. I'm revealing this to you is how it's possible for extraordinary power and ways of life to become reality for you. It is now possible for you to raise from the rumble caused by negative physical forces. Some will call these forces that we do not want, want the work of the devil. Your adult life can now truly be a direct reflection of your inner self through astral power, skillfully applied by your staff of astral helpers. Mm, that sounds beautiful because the melanated brothers I know are beautiful in them. So if they can manifest what's going on on the inside, outwardly, in which they deserve, I say all day. And all day. <laughs> you know what I'm All of that. A successful businessman becomes a leader. Out of thousands of cases that I have seen, Ronald now comes to mind. He was a successful businessman with a nice home, a beautiful wife, and two children. He had all the material wealth that he needed. His animal nature was well cared for. I taught him how to release his spiritual nature. I revealed to him how to apply my magic formula so that he could put meaning into his life. He now is looked up to and respected by all who know him. It goes without saying that his happiness is complete. Like Ronald, all of us live in a physical world subject to physical and man-made laws. You can live your life this way if you wish, but no one will stop you. One day you will die and be buried. What has such a life accomplished? What part of such a life lives on a guide to those who follow? You know the answer to that question. I recently saw on television a show, The Devastating Cause by the Tornado of Ishna, X-E-N-I-A, Ishna, Ohio. Over half the town was destroyed. Naturally, there was much to do to bring some kind of order out of the almost total destruction. Yet the pictures indicated many just finding almost total destruction. Yet the pictures indicated 
many just finding a place to sit down. Wow. Others even had to bring them donuts and coffee. To live a life, bring me an apple and banana. To live a life, a life, a full life, you must live in a multi-dimensional way. You must release the power within yourself and not just live in a physical dimension with the five senses. Let me repeat that the vast majority live in only a physical dimension. Even those who attend church regularly do not get above the purely physical. They hear this minister talk about God and the afterlife, but it means nothing to them. As one person once told me, I'll wait and take my chances when I get here. Actually, they do not even know where they're going. While in a meditation situation, I have viewed hundreds of such people on the spirit side of life, wandering around after death, still not knowing that there is anything above the physical. Wow. To feel, taste, smell, and hear on a physical level is not enough. Since learning my formula, you know that the proceeding is true. You can relax, concentrate, and raise your vibrations above the physical level. Your astral helpers have let you see them at least once. You can pick up their thoughts. At times you can feel them, or you may be able to hear them. But all of these are sensations above the physical level. That's deep, because there were children that had imaginary friends. If in a meditation situation, and it's also commonplace known that children can also see spirits. So that's yeah, this is just something that we just got to build on and practice. So that it, and this is the answer to help us get out of our situation. If in a meditation situation, you should hear one of your spirit friends tap on a table, or if he or she should let you see them momentarily, that does not mean that anyone not in a meditation situation can hear or see on the astral level. Jackie Susan is with me now. She's one of my astral helping, helping me write this book. How can I prove that she's here? I've seen her. I've picked up her thoughts. I've heard her talk to me. How can Jackie prove that she's here? The answer is that neither one of us can prove it to the scientific method. But we both know that it's true. We both know that we are in each other's presence. I know that she's putting thoughts in my mind she knows that these thoughts are influencing my thinking and writing. Don't try to prove the existence of astral power or astral helpers to anyone. Tell others to prove it to themselves. This is the only type of proof that means anything. And while I'm at it, let me tell you, you never have to become a part of your experiment conducted by doubting Thomas. All you need to do is prove what I have told you to yourself. Your bank book increases happiness, better health, more protection from the criminal forces of the world are all the proof that you need. Mental action images can make you a leader. Did you know that the astral forces that can be measured in the scientific laboratory around a tadpole is in the exact shape of a frog that it will become? Developing, yeah, because I think talks about this. Developing mental action images while in meditation situation of you as you desire yourself to be. Create an astral force around you that will result in your becoming that person, just as the force around the tadpole creates a frog. Billie Jean King, the well-known tennis star, uses mental action images to rehearse for every match. She imagines vivid patterns of hitting perfect strokes over and over again. She claims that this exercise helps her repeat perfect strokes on the court. If she would only use my complete formula, she really would be a tennis star that no one could be. Margaret created mental action images that put meaning, purpose, and majesty in her life as she applied my magic formula. She is no longer just a good wife and mother. She took up a cause, truth, in advertising. Today, Margaret is a leader and an authority who has done much to clean up false advertising. First, her perception of the type of leaderships were purely mental. God says, let there be light, which is mental, and there was light, which was the physical. Now market perceptions are a valuable reality in her life. Now you can know you know. As you become more skillful in releasing your inner self, you are becoming attuned to the universal storehouse of knowledge. Your more complete self now knows that it knows. All great people, international statesmen, inventors, leaders in all walks of life can now understand each other. 
all or our modern methods of communication become insignificant by comparison. The potential, I mean, the political leader of the future will know. William has all the material things he wants. He got them by applying my magic formula, but he felt the need for something else. As his inner self unfolded, he began more and more to understand what was needed in the political field. During his meditation period, he formed images of himself at the next political meeting. He will say to himself, tomorrow at 8 p.m., I will be at the headquarters. At that time, it is the deepest wish in my mind that ideas come into my consciousness so that I can really make a contribution. I really want to know. From then on, whenever he was in a political situation, ideas flooded to his mind. Others began to have faith in him. That's deep because some people forget what they're going to say when they, you know when it's time to be ready. He would say to himself, tomorrow at 8 p.m. I will be at the headquarters. At that time, it is the deepest wish of my mind that ideas come into my consciousness so that I can really make a contribution. I really want to know. From then on, whenever he was in a political situation, ideas flooded his mind. Others began to have faith in him. From then on, when he was in, okay, so during his meditation period, he formed images of himself at the next political meeting. He would say to himself, tomorrow at 8 p.m., I will be at the headquarters. At that time, it is the deepest, it is my deepest wish of my mind that ideas come into my consciousness so that I can really make a contribution. I really want to know why. From then on, whenever he was in a political situation, ideas flooded his mind. Others began to have faith in him. He created a political path for himself, a path that did not become filled with rubble and weeds. But one that led him straight to the seat in Congress. Why many doctors' diagnoses are important. It is an actual fact that postmortem proves that 75% of the doctors' diagnoses are incorrect. Dr. C is a well known surgeon whose services are in great demand. He is called a natural doctor. He always seems to know what to do. Eminent diagnosis also know. They may look at the chart lab reports, x-rays, etc. But in the extra, something that comes from the inner self that makes them great. This is equally true for a salesman. He is told what the product will do, but he does not stop there. He tunes in on his prospective purchaser in such a way that the sale is easy. Exercises to help you know. The next time your phone rings, try this experiment. Let it ring a few times to center your mind on the caller. Now y'all know we used to do this. We used to know who was calling. What kind of person is calling? Is it someone that you know? What does he or she want? Is the caller a man or a woman? A child or an adult? You will need to answer the phone before you try to pick up all the things that might come into your mind. Use a different set of questions each time. Is the caller in a good or angry mood? Is it a social or business call? Exactly what is the message that the call will give you? Is it Mr. Smith? Is it your husband or wife? Is it the insurance man or the next door neighbor? I always would look at the time. So right now it's 1147. So that's 1111. So I would be thinking like, okay, well this is somebody who wants to know about knowledge. They want to build on culture or something. Or, yeah, and, and changing and spiritual yeah, definitely intellect. And then all of that together is something about a foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Something about laying a foundation. Your inner self is filled with knowledge, so release it. Here's an exercise that you find valuable. Before you go on a shopping trip, spend a few minutes asking questions and getting the answer. Who will you see that you know? Will you see someone that you would rather not run to? Will you be able to get all the items you have on your list? If the weather is threatening, will it rain before you get back? Your inner self is filled with knowledge, so release it. Your personal, business, and social life will all benefit if you will be able to say that you know. You can acquire knowledge without using reason or gaining experience. To know will make you a leader, 
and will result in a commanding the respect of others. To know puts you at the top and keeps you there. The power can come only as you learn to apply your formula, RCC. Review of the first six chapters. Astral power is the most powerful force in the universe. Through this book, you are learning to release your inner self so that you can tap this great power to bring your wealth, health, and happiness. Whether it's hard to sell a house or changing business failure into business success, creating a rich sex and home life, protecting yourself from property, or maintaining good health, your fully open inner self will make you realize all your heart's desires. You are learning to dial all frequencies within your mind so that there can be communication back and forth to all levels of yourself. You are no longer tuned to one small physical station of life. You have already changed the highly limited idea that you had of yourself. And remember, there are no limitations to your inner self. There are no limitations to your inner self. There are no boundaries to enclose it or to deny it freedom. There is plenty of evidence in the Bible that God and God is did not intend us to live in poverty or ill health or miss out on any of the grand things that can take place on this earth, including the greatest of all, which is love. So stop being little old you and move out of the little corner of life that you now occupy. Exercise to open up your inner self important. I want you to keep performing the exercise I told you about in chapter one until you can really sense astral power flowing through your body. There is so much of the power that is flowing out of your hands, feet, and body like the rays of the sun. Keep repeating to yourself that this all-powerful astral power is yours as God intended it to be. And God is too. So astral power is cheap. Higher ethereal or foreign ethereal energy. That's all I got to say. Well, I wanted to, I just want to look closer because I know sometimes people say they can't hear you. Okay. Um, so the ancestors is telling me to make sure I do the affirmation that he's referring to. Continuing now and for days and years to come, I am moving towards my cherished goal. Oh, let me read this first. I'm sorry. In here, it's on page 29. It says, it's always best for you to form images and use the words to your own liking. Canned affirmations may not always completely fit your situation. However, I will give you an affirmation that I use myself. Remember, to picture images as well as words must be used. Okay. Um, continuing now for days and years to come. I am moving towards my most cherished goal. My life is becoming rich with happiness. A better economic condition and full contentment. A better economic condition and full contentment. Every action, Every action enterprise, or endeavor, enterprise or endeavor in which I wish to be involved, to be involved is bringing increasing reward. Is bringing increasing reward. Life is making this joy and happiness easier to come by. Life is making this joy and happiness easier to come by. Good fortune is coming my way more and more frequently. Good fortunes are coming my way more and more and more and more and more frequently. I am learning how to share my good fortune by helping others along the way. I'm learning how to share my good fortune with others along the way. I am truly moving closer to oneness with God. I'm truly moving closer and closer and closer to With full release of my inner higher self. Your inner self is ready. The abilities of your inner self have been ready since your birth. You do not even know that they were there. They have been ready to produce miracles for you and your family all this time. All the wealth and good things in life have been yours since birth. But you now realize this for the first time because I have told you so. Fortunately for you, some of this power has slipped through in spite of your attempt to block what you thought was weak. Open the dam. Open the dam down. And let the astral powers flow your whole, let them flood your whole life. 
Okay. All perceptions are first mental. God said, let there be light and light there will be. I am teaching you how to change thought, mental action images, and feeling tones into physical reality. You surely do not want to be like the farmer who's still using kerosene lamps when electricity is available. The farmer did not see electricity as a reality. Your bank balance may be $55. Well, make a mental image of your bank balance being $55,000 and apply the formula. And it will be. You want to bet? Mental doctors can't understand how astral power and astral help can cure bone cancer or any other disease. Your inner self does not follow the laws of physics or principles set by man. The physical is only a small, insignificant part of the universe. Your inner self's perceptions are mental and not even dependent upon time and space, as the majority of the people believe them to be. If God and Goddess should say it left the earth except for one small area and six men and women cease to exist, it will disappear. The men left would start looking for the wreckage, looking through the wreckage, and there would be none anywhere. When an astral help receives a normal bone in the body of a person with bone cancer and then changes it into an actual physical bone and the cancer is cured, how to begin and end your day. Please turn back to the first chapter of chapter one. It's very important that you carry out these instructions. They furnish a base for the successful function of the magic formula, which is RCC. As you know, the R stands for relaxation. Please learn to relax your mind and body as directed in chapter two. It is much easier to release astral power if the body is relaxed. You will very soon be able to let go very quickly. But first get the idea of how to let go and relax your mind. Breathing is very important. So read these pages carefully and follow the instructions in them. In chapter two, in which he's referring to, I believe it's on page 39. Um, let me see. Yeah, no, it's 30s. Yeah, it is 39. We're pulling the first part of the secret formula. It'll be the first chapter there. First new chapter. Um, and, but you might want to go to 38 and we're pulling the first part of secret formula. We're pulling the first part of the secret formula. And then it says pulling the first part of the secret formula. So both of them are there. You can read both of them. It's really good. But I'm not going to read it now because I'll leave it now and he will get relaxed. <laughs> Learning to develop mental action images is vital to the success of my magic formula. You have reached the desired goals when your images seem so real that you are totally unaware of your physical surroundings, including your own body. You do this by learning to concentrate. I have given you the necessary exercise to help you learn to concentrate in Chapter 2. Remember that it is the mental action image the perception that becomes physically reality. How not to concentrate? Doorbell again. Mailman, I hope, must get the skirt done soon. Wonder if the, it will rain today. My violet and bloom. Winter time will soon be here. Gee, but this day is long. The kitchen is a mess again. The cat, where is he? I wonder where Kate's going. I wonder what they over there doing. So it's chicken again for dinner? But I want a pizza. Jim is working much too hard. Gee, I must be getting thinner. Who's going Who's going to the next door? I used to like to swim. I've been swimming in a while. The leaves need raking today. The bathroom lights too dim. Forgot to pay the electric bill. Uh-uh, I don't do none of this. I done overpaid the electric bill. Um, the light in the dim bathroom is perfect. I love it. That's why being out an extra two hours. Is that woman's skirt too tight? Why can't I get this done? Ooh, it's taking me forever to do stuff. Yes, it's TV again tonight. Think she's smart. And she thinks she's cute. And I don't see nothing wrong with that because she supposed to think she's cute. But I should. Should it be green, red, or black? <laughs> How about all of them? 
Anne's probably in Detroit by now. Where's my L? Where's my cigarette? Where's the break? It's important for you to remember that putting mental action images in your mind of what you want your life to be like will result in these images being materialized into the reality. Your mind should always be wishing. And your whole objective should be to realize your wishes. So then rub your third eye. Release your higher self. Your gen, your genie. All your goals, everything you seek to do or be, whether negative or positive, are the products of your imagination. As you move towards your goals, imagination gives way to reality. Most people get what they expect, not what they really want. Think about the statement for a moment. Do you really want a lot of money? Or do you expect to be poor? Do you really want to marry a beautiful person and have a wonderful love life? Or do you expect that you will take what you can get and try to make the best of it? Hmm. There's too many people thinking like that. I don't want them thinking like that. Getting your first proof of spirit world. I suggest in chapter two that you keep working on the exercises to see silver streaks all around you, especially outdoors. These silver streaks are your spirit friend or persons on the spirit side of life. Space everywhere is filled with them. As you meditate, you will monetarily, you will momentarily see them. They are all young and beautiful. Everything is a matter of frequency or vibration. Physical things, whether it's in your body or the chair you sit on, vibrate. Vibrate at a lower rate. As you visit your spirit friends through astral projecting, you will discover that they are just as solid as you are. Psychic space travel is exciting. I hope that you have had at least one astral space trip by the time that you've read these lines. You can go anywhere on the earthly plane or on the astral plane. I suggest that you have one of your astral helpers show you around until you become a veteran in space travel. All you need to do is get relaxed. Form a vivid mental action, image of yourself, going somewhere and your astral helper begins with you, and then take off. Leave your physical body in a safe place until you return. Applying the total magic formula. The first step is to put your mind in order. Clear out all the negative thoughts and emotions. Check your faith, and do you really believe what you have read so far? The second step is to check your breathing. And that's what breathing techniques they tell you to do. Six, three, six breath. Six, six, six breath. And then he also talks about going into one breath a minute. The second step is to check your breathing. While meditating, reduce your breathing to a deep six to ten times a minute. Make certain that you can let go quickly and relax without going through the total relaxation exercise. Do not meditate immediately after your meals. The third step for astral projection is general relaxing and meditation. Lie down on a comfortable bed or couch. From a specific meditation to develop mental action images that can be materialized into re reality to bring you wealth and health. Sit in a straight chair with your feet flat on the floor. I always use a good blindfold to cut out all vision. The four steps concerning protection against I always ask for it. See chapter four. Maybe. Oh, yeah, sure. I saw them eyes come. What's in your eye, baby? Did you write on it? Yeah. I think it was. I don't know. Well, that's your help yourself. The third step for astral projection is general reflection and meditation. Lie down on a comfortable bed or couch for, ex for expect meditation to develop mental action images that can be materialized into reality to bring you wealth and health. Sit in a straight chair with your feet flat on the floor and always use a good blindfold to cut out all vision. The fourth step, 
concerning protection. I need to get it. I'm all, I'm, um, also, I got my book too because I did have a dream last night. Which already three of the things already came true. Um, one of them I need to do. Um, this sort of seems relaxing too, but I'm almost finished. The fifth step concerns developing a staff of astral helpers. Find out who your spirit guide is first. He or has, she has been with you for 24 hours a day since you were born. Wow. Maybe have you seen your spirit guide? I, don't, I think I've seen my spirit guide too. Back when I was in Raleigh, baby. Wow. He or she has been with you 24 hours a day since you were born. It is time you gave him a break and start paying some attention to him. Yo, I'm 30. Baby, 40 years old. Right now, you're giving Paul no attention. That's a damn shame. Somebody who been with you for the, your, your entire life, saving you, protecting your mind. Mm. Okay, well, I'm doing one with you better. I'm going to have to find out today. Later, you can apply for a master teacher, which I feel like I'm married to him. <laughs> but I'm sure that there are more. Also, more on different planes to Maybe. Please review carefully the information I have given you. In chapter three, concerning concerning developing developing your staff or astral helper. Once thing is once thing is certain, once this is certain, your astral helpers will want to take you on a trip through the astral world. By all means, go. I was when they came to get me on when I was going to see the graduation. You sure did. Well, baby, we need to start going somewhere else. Like, we need to start going somewhere else. Like, um, on Bureau. Like, on the Bureau scene. Remember that show, The Bureau? Just the, just the Bureau. Okay. That's, that's complicated. That's probably how infinite it is. Evil forces are all around us. Being afraid of the evil forces on earth does not solve any problems for you. Fear does not solve the problem of evil forces on the astral level either. In chapter 4, I've told you all about evil forces. I have told you how to keep them out of your life. Later, you will learn how to keep the criminal element away from you here on earth. Your first job is to stop thinking about evil everywhere in the universe. If you believe that all men are evil, you will never experience any goodness in humans. Don't believe in the devil, or you will surely find him. I have written what I've considered a very complete account of evil everywhere. I have told you how to keep it out of your life. Please reread this whole chapter to make certain that you have freed yourself from any forces that may make your positive application of my magic formula difficult. He's talking about chapter 4. And chapter 4 gave you some really powerful stuff. He's talking about a lot of people who are dealing with these incarnated elementals or feel like they're dealing with government um, injecting um, bugs into them and, um, and scanning them every day constantly even though they scan them every day yesterday constantly too um, they um, they basically got stuck in a lower nature and they're being plagued by entities and they're stuck in that dimension um, and chapter 4 goes into that um, also on our video um, we went into that too. Some other people gave their own personal physical account. The comments are pretty um, informative too. Where other people are agreeing and they've been going through it as well. Suggestions for full use of my magic formula. One, meditate at least once every day. Start your meditation period with a prayer. The Lord's Prayer is a fine beginning. Our Father and Mother, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and we forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us from all evil, but deliver us from all evil. For thine the power, I mean, the thine the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
And then two, um, also remember that you can apply the formula at any time without notice. However, one quiet meditation period a day will bring wonderful results. Adjust your mental action images to fit the need. If it is a job you want, picture yourself actually in the job. If you are an employer hiring people, click to the details on the application blank and ask for guidance. If you wish to bring in a spirit friend, picture this friend vividly in your mind. Use a photograph of a person if you have one. Ask them to come in. If it is a wealth or health that you desire, picture yourself with wealth or perfect physical health. And three, in carrying out the third formula, factor of the formula, contemplation. Put your attention on the middle of your forehead. The third eye location. See a shaft of white light ascending from the third eye. Straight up to God. Keep repeating to yourself, higher vibrations, higher vibrations, oneness with the goddess, oneness with the goddess, higher vibrations, higher vibrations, oneness with the goddess, oneness with the goddess. Keep holding this image in your mind and repeating this word until all awareness of the physical world is held in ambiance. Your meditation period should be at least 30 minutes. If you are giving somebody 8 hours, 8 to 12 hours a day, then you can give yourself 30 minutes. If you have to do it before you get up out of the bed, then do that. If you have to do it before you go to bed, then do that. Do it. Asking questions from the universal mind is very valuable. It is best to ask these questions while meditating. By the time you come, when you close your eyes and contact the universal mind instantly. Example, universal mind, please come in. I would like to know whether or not I should change jobs in the near future. This is an example. You will hear a voice or pick up thoughts as follows. The answer to your question is no. You should not change jobs now. There are no better jobs available for you at the moment. Stay where you are. The universal mind will give you some advice. However, to create a new situation of better health, more wealth, etc., use mental action images. Very, very important. If you do not hear a voice or pick thought, you need to learn to meditate better. The time will come when your vibrations will continue to be on a higher level at all times. Now, me and Dr. Ali are going to conclude because now it's on to chapter 7. And plus, this is making my baby too relaxed. And um, what we're going to do, because I know we did a breathing technique on YouTube together. But I don't think we did the breathing technique of six. Six 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 three six seven one seven. So we're gonna do one of each, so that you can do each. You know what I mean? You can decide which one works best with you, and then we can do it along with you. All right. Peace, honor, love, and prosperity, and constant awareness, relaxation, and contemplation.